Have you ever wanted to talk to your IDE? Well, now you can, almost. IntelliJ is running, or JetBrains is running, a private beta of Copilot chat. Now, if you're not familiar with what this is, I made a video about it recently. I'll play a short clip from that video now, just so you can see what it looks like. So we could say, generate a function to add two numbers together. Okay, and as you can see, it's generated some code and it's given a couple of different examples. Now, let's say we wanted to use this piece of code. You've got the option to copy it to your clipboard. You can insert it at your cursor. So if I just slip that, you can see that it gets inserted there. We don't want that, so I'll just undo that. And you've got a couple of other options here. So if you've got a terminal command, you can just execute that straight away in your terminal. All right, so the next thing you can do is you can type forward slash and then you get a bunch of topics that come up and you can use these as shortcuts to do various things. So I can just hit explain and hit enter and it will start trying to explain the code. Yeah, you can see it's going into some detail. I don't really care at this stage, but it's more just to show you the kind of stuff that you can do. And then the other thing that you can do is you can be actually in the editor pane itself and you could go here, for example, and press command I. That shortcut might vary depending on your operating system. And again, you can type slash here to get these kind of topics that you can select, like fix, test, etc. Or you can just ask a question or a regular prompt. So if you want more info about how Copilot chat works and its various features, then do check out that video. But this video is to let you know that if you have JetBrains IDEs like IntelliJ, PyCharm, WebStorm, Android Studio, and others, and you have a paid Copilot subscription, I know they say that the best things in life are free, but unfortunately there is not a free version of Copilot. So you really do need a subscription to be able to use these features. But if you do have the paid version, then you can now opt into the private beta from the Copilot chat window in your IDE. Once you click that button, you'll see a screen like the following, which means you're now on the wait list. So you can just wait for the email notification to come through before you can start using it. Now, although I was on the VS Code private beta, I've not got access to the JetBrains private beta, but I would be surprised if it's very different to what we've already seen in the other video, the VS Code video. But if you have managed to get access to it and have been using it, it'd be great to hear your feedback in the comment section below. Do you like it? Is it good? Is it something that you would continue to pay for? Or does it feel like it's not really that useful? All right, so that pretty much wraps up this video. I'll probably make another video if I do get access so make sure you subscribe if you want to be kept up to date with the latest tech tutorials and industry news and thank you for watching.